Hi, my name's Maddie, and I live with Megan. We are housemates. Um, I also went to SUNY Purchase for visual arts, and I was a printmaker and painter, but I do lots of sewing and fiber textile art. And I'm gonna teach you how to weave using a piece of cardboard. Okay, so what you need is a piece of sturdy cardboard, if you can find it. I used the back of a drawing pad, which is very sturdy. A pair of scissors. <laughs> um, and then for weaving, you need two types of string because you have your warp and your weft. And the warp is what we're gonna do first, which is kind of like the base um, weaving string. And so usually I use something like twine or something that's a little bit, I'm gonna use the word sturdy again. Um, <laughs> it doesn't need to be something fun because the fun stuff that we're gonna use, that's the part that's gonna be seen. The weft is the part that is colorful and that you can design and you have more freedom with. Um, and the warp is just the thing that holds it all together. Um, and then also, I like to use recycle old clothes. So this was a tank top that I just cut into strips. And this is just a regular cut strip. And this one I kind of pulled, so now it has a different texture. So it looks cool. And this is a t-shirt, or the bottom of a shirt that I cropped, because I'm so cool. The first thing we're gonna do is cut slits um, on the top and the bot the top <laughs> of our cardboard of our loom, and you want to make sure the slits are very evenly cut, um, and you want them to be even with one another at the top and the bottom. So you could measure this out if you wanted to. Usually I eyeball it, but if you wanted to, um, you could mark out just evenly. I don't even know, what is this, a quarter of an inch that I'm doing? Yeah. So I'm gonna mark it out, et cetera. And I'm also gonna do it down here so that it's even at the top. Now, <laughs> we're gonna cut um, the slits. You can cut just about like, a quarter of an inch of a slit for each one. The more slits and the closer together you make them, the tighter your weaving will be and like the more precision you can get with it and the smaller yarns you can use. If you wanted to use thicker material like this strip and not cut it down anymore, I would say you can make the slits farther apart. Um, but a lot of it is just experimenting and seeing what will, what will fit. Now we're going to get our warp string. We're going to tie a little knot at the end. All right, I've got my knot. Now I'm going to tuck that knot in my first slit. Okay, so you see I put that knot behind. Now it's in there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it down to that other slit on the bottom and put it in there. Mm -hmm. And then what you're gonna do is take it behind and bring it through the second slit. So that in the front, we're just making lines up and down. So I'm gonna put it through the second slit at the top around so that I can make my third line down. And the reason you're gonna want stiffer cardboard is because these need to be pretty sturdy, the slits at the top, um, which if they're not working so well, you can just cut them deeper so that you can um, slide the yarn in deeper because you want this part of the weaving to be the 
like most durable because it's going to be there the whole time and this is what we're going to weave through. This is what we like to see, this dip, because then it gives us the space we're going to be weaving through this warp. So if it's bending like this a little bit, that's okay, we want that. Um, and sometimes when it bends like this, the yarn wants to come out of these slits, which is why you can cut them deeper if you, if you, um, if a quarter of an inch is too small. Okay, now I've finished um, threading the warp. I'm going to tie it off with a knot just so it doesn't all come undone. Because what we want is tension. We want this, all the strings to be very taut and tight. Now we're ready to weave, which is just whatever you want it to be. And you can use any kind of material. You can experiment. You could cut up paper bags and try and, I mean, plastic bags, you could pa try paper bags and um, shirt, fabric, yarn, anything. I'm going to start with this cut tank top. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to start under, go over, go under, go over, go under, go over. It's just over and under, over and under. The only thing you have to really remember and keep track of is um, you switch off per row. I'm going to just finish this row. You can also, if you're using yarn um, and you have a, a needle that's big enough, you could always thread the yarn through the needle, which makes it a lot easier to do this. Then I'm going to pull it all the way through. Actually, I have a knot there, so I'm just going to stop it there. And you bring it all the way to the top. Okay, now when you start a new row, you're going to bring the yarn around. So you're kind of looping it around this piece. And because we went under this row, we're going to go over this row this time. So we're going to go over and under, over, and under, and you want to make sure you're switching your over and under each time for each row because that's what's going to make this a weaving and that's what's going to make it a solid um, piece of uh, fabric. So check that out. Each row switches so you can see the string, then you can't see the string, you can see the string. And you're going to keep doing that all the way until you've got the length that you want. Um, and when you start your first row, I would leave about an inch of space up at the top because when you take um, your weaving off of your loom, you want to be able to tie it off. And to do that, you're going to want to start in the middle um, because if you started at one end, it would kind of mess up the tension of the whole thing. So it doesn't have to be exactly the middle, but just somewhere. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you would take it out of your slit. I like to just bend the slit backwards. Um, then you can cut that loop and just tie a knot. And then you've tied it off. And you're going to keep going. So then you're going to do this side. You want to just keep it even and balanced as you tie it off, just so you don't um, disrupt the warp. I'm going to do it again. And then for this next knot, I'm going to go to this side. So we're going to go back and forth, back and forth until you're at the edges in the end.